morning coffee. Uh, but all I have to say is this has been one heck of a week. It's the last week of the year. And of course, we came home Monday from celebrating Christmas with our families. And I usually am tired, so I'll lay down and take a nap. But I just knew something was off when I woke up. So then Tuesday morning I get up and I don't feel good. And I'm like, it's okay, I'll go to work. Some mornings I don't feel good and then it goes away. Well, I get to work and my whole body aches and my nose is all stuffy and I just don't feel good. So Wednesday, of course, I stayed home. And then Thursday wasn't so bad. And then Friday, yesterday, I was getting a little better and I feel a little bit better today. But then I got Ken sick. And it has just been one of those weeks where I was like, I'm going to get so much done because this is the last week. And then I did nothing because I was sick. And you know what? That's fine. My body decided that I needed to rest and that's what I did. So it's just been a crazy last week of the year and I just can't believe that we're here and that it's the end of 2022 tonight and we're going into 2023. It's just so wild. Uh, but the plan for today is that I'm going to wake up a little bit with some coffee and then I am actually going to make a list, a shopping list of all the stuff that we want to buy for tonight to celebrate and then for next week, the food and stuff for next week. So I am I I'm glad that we didn't make plans to originally we were gonna make plans to go to my sisters and hang out with them, but then it was the like back to back weekends and driving. It's just it was a lot and I'm glad we didn't say, Oh yeah, we'll do it and then ended up having to cancel plans because of us being sick um, <clears throat> but yeah it's it's been crazy it's been a crazy week and I am ready for 2023 and I'm ready to see what it holds but I'm going to stop talking I'm going to drink my coffee make my list and then we'll probably head to the store this morning to get the stuff for tonight and for next week so I'm just going to bring you along on the last day of the year I said I thought to myself like my last vlog technically of the year would have been Christmas because it would have came out before the next year but this one will technically be the last vlog of the year and I think it's so crazy that I've been vlogging for a year now I started uh, last December I started vlogging in December and now it's a full circle a full year of vlogging and I am so proud of myself and I can't believe myself that I've made it this far and I just keep going on and it feels good so like I said I'm going to get myself to make this list and stop lollygagging and I uh, will talk to you guys later. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter
that's this side of way So we just got home from grocery shopping and I wanted to show you guys that this is like most of the stuff is just for tonight and then into tomorrow. So you're like, oh yeah, that's nothing. Then you come over here for all this food. <laughs> like some of this is for like work during next week too, but it's like <laughs> How much food can two people eat? What? I just thought it was funny and thought I'd show you guys. <coughs> so we're pretty much just going to relax the rest of the day. We're going to eat breakfast and probably just sit around and watch some Christmas movies and stuff like that. So I'm probably not going to vlog any of the stuff that we're doing until later today when we actually start making stuff and getting stuff together so I'm going to reheat up my coffee have some breakfast relax and then probably read some of my book and uh, watch some Christmas movies because it is still a Christmas season and I will talk to you later today.
oh, for Christmas, my sister got me these cool bowls. Uh, there's one big one and then four small ones. And it has these little containers you put in the bottom. Oh, this one. Yep. And you like put them in the bottom and then they catch the kernels. That one, right? It came apart. So we have four little ones and a big one, which I thought was cool. And then she also, and then she also got us this kit that has three different popcorns, but then it has all these different flavors you can put in the popcorn. And the flavors are movie theater, dill pickle, butter sweet corn, uh, sweet caramel, and baby pack ribs. So I thought it would be fun to put a little bit of popcorn in each bowl and then put the different uh, seasonings on them and see what they taste like. So I'm going to do that. So now I put popcorn in each four of these. I think the only one that I'm not going to do is the movie theater one. Try all of them. Is there four of them? There's five. Oh. Start with two four. Okay. What'd you say? That's why I said I'll start with. So, get these out. Baby back ribs. See if it'll. All... There we go. Baby back ribs. This one is dill pickle. This one is sweet caramel. And this one is buttered sweet corn. Does it taste bad? Smell so bad? Taste it. Or you just took it off? Alright, so the first one we're gonna taste is <laughs> baby back ribs. Well, aren't you gonna put them all on? And that will taste them? Yeah. Is there like a. I already took it off. Oh. Open it and shake it. Not Gotta crazy. actually shake it. You gotta actually use your arms. <laughs> what is happening? They're just really thick. Okay. Okay. Is there really anything on there? Do it. Okay, so there's baby back ribs. Yeah, I guess we could just put them in so I know which one is which. There's the sweet caramel. Oh. Oh. That's that one. Okay. Taste test this yeah. stuff. So let's do dill pickle. Yeah, it's gonna taste like booty. <laughs> booty taste in my mouth. You taste it? Yeah, it tastes like a pickle. I like pickles, they're not in my popcorn. I don't think it's bad. But I like pickles. You don't even, I like pickles. You, you say you didn't even taste it. The more I eat it, I do. I get that dill taste. Yeah, it tastes disgusting. <sighs> Next. Let's get this over with. Okay. <laughs> Next is buttered sweet corn. Not bad. I'm a popcorn dough. Ooh. 
You definitely get that like butter taste. Well. Butter goes with popcorn, so it's a plus for me. I don't know if I like that. Two thumbs up. So the first one you was a no and yes and those aren't thumbs. Maybe. Okay. Gotta cleanse our palate. Coffee Sweet beans. caramel. If you like caramel corn. Taste the caramel popcorn. Without the stickiness. Yeah. And uh not bad. <laughs> this will be better than dill. Baby back ribs. Smoky. Ooh. <coughs> oh, I like that. Dill pickle is the worst. So the only one we didn't try was movie theater. I would imagine it tastes like popcorn in the movie theater. Well, open that one and I'll go get some. We'll try that one. <laughs> and obviously this last one is just <coughs> movie theater popcorn. Movie theater popcorn. Movie Movie theater. Oh. A lot. Yeah, that was a lot. Okay. <laughs> you can tell if you use that way too much. Tastes like butter! Oh, yeah. It ain't nothing so, but uh, All of them are pretty good, besides you don't like the dill No, pickle. the dill was horrible. I still taste it. I still want to throw up. I would just throw that one right in the garbage. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. You'll never eat it. I know you. <laughs> You'll never put that on your popcorn. Oh. Oh. There it is. Oh, yeah. Just toss it. That's like intense pickle. Oh no. So, thank you to my sister for these cute little balls and these uh, seasonings. It's funny because I usually don't like like caramel, like popcorn. Like I don't like the caramel ones. I think they're hard, but I would eat this. Next. Quickly done. Onto the chocolate. putting out all of the snacks and right here are the games that I kind of pulled out we're not gonna play all of them I just pulled them all out and then we have Christmas here and Halloween ends on the TV because we keep trying to watch it and it keeps pausing so we're trying to finish that tonight Ken is breaking up the meat we also have the jalapeno wraps and the mushrooms in the sink, we are trying to defrost these so we can eat them. Then when you go in here, up there is the toffee bars cooling. And then we have our Chex Mix baking in here. So we are getting all ready and somebody is like, can I have stuff? Can I have stuff? Please or no? So we are getting ready to uh, just pull out all the snacks. We 
used to do like meals, but we decided that we would just rather buy a bunch of stuff and snack all night. So that's pretty much what we do and have been doing the last few years. We just buy a bunch of stuff and we snack all night. So we will probably snack, watch the movie, and then once the movie's done, we'll probably play some card games and just relax for the next, what did you say, seven hours? Seven hours. Seven hours. Oh, I can go to bed. Jeez. <laughs> He's like, seven hours, oh, seven hours until bedtime. Like, that's how you know you are getting older, too, because you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta be up for the next seven hours waiting for the New Year's to roll in. So, so I'm eagerly waiting. Not sure where the other one, oh, and there's my other baby. Definitely like hitting the point where we're all fooded out. There's a lot of okay. stuff on this table. We made these and the mushrooms. The mushrooms weren't as good as I thought they were gonna be. The jalapenos are very hot. That's like spicy hot. Yeah, spicy hot. Like I took one bite out of that and I can't eat anything else. So Is that why you look like you're dying? Yeah. Uh <coughs> but I think Eventually, we are probably going to clean up this area and then play some games. We just finished Halloween Ends, and it wasn't as bad as people said it was. Like, I thought it was good and enjoyed it, but I thought now I would do it right now instead of doing it later because I'll probably be tired after the New Year rolls in and we'll want to go straight to bed, that I thought I'd do, like, an end of the year review of how this last year went and how crazy life has changed uh, with beginning the at the beginning of the year uh, going to the doctor and finding out I had to have surgery to having surgery in March and then spending the next six months after that recovering then after recovering, we quit our jobs, and then we spent a month just kind of hanging out and enjoying our time together, and then we both found new jobs, and it's just so crazy how fast this year has gone, and we are officially now eight months out from our wedding, which is very exciting, and we've been looking into... Uh, just apartments and houses and all of that so I feel like next year it's gonna be really exciting of just new things to come and new things to try and I am very excited for it I am excited to see where the future goes I am definitely going to you know dive more into vlogging and trying new things and my podcast and finishing my book and it is an exciting time, and I am definitely going. What did I say my word was? Um, <laughs> my word for next year is ambitious. <laughs> so I will actually be doing a video where I do my, uh, obviously, my word of the year. I'm going to do five things that I'm going to leave in 2022 that I'm not bringing with me, and I'll share that with you. And then I'll also do my vision board and show you guys that uh, with updating that stuff. But that will be in my next video, and I am just excited to see where the future goes. And do you want to do an end of the year review? No. <laughs> he said no. So, yeah. 
I'm going to finish up snacking here and then we're going to watch, get ready to watch some of the countdowns and play some games. Okay, just add two points that the players score, so I'm going to add two to mine. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in me, so I can't find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark, against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. played four different games and I only won one game. I think someone over here is a cheater. I'm a wiener. And I am tired. <laughs> I'm losing. Uh, no. <laughs> it is 8.17 so we legit have four hours to go and try to keep She's ourselves napping. awake. I'm napping? You're gonna nap. Oh, I'm exhausted. I am trying so hard to keep myself awake. But yeah, I am not doing well with the winning because this one over here is a cheater. I'm a wiener. Yeah, you're a wiener. The biggest wiener in the world. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's all I got. So it is uh, <laughs> 8.49, let's see. Do you listen to the TV Time has I slowed down. Have <laughs> what? Time has benefits. slowed down. <laughs> Time has slowed down. 8.49 for the past two hours. So not even, I think 20 minutes ago, I was like, yeah, we just got done playing games and now I'm on the couch like, I don't even know if I'll be able to stay awake. Like, I am so tired that like I could take a nap and wake up like an hour or a half hour before the new year and bring it in. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to stay awake but like I am so tired and I, I'll keep saying it I, 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 I'm just getting old like I cannot hang and I am ready for bed <laughs> like I don't know how I mean I guess if you were out doing something you might not be paying attention to the time so much but I think because we're at home I'm just exhausted well this one over here gets all cozy cozy on the couch Going to sleep? No. It's like daddy. Are you sleeping? Stand up. 
So, <coughs> will I stay up or will I not stay up? That is the question. Don't worry. American New Year. Yeah, he couldn't hang until midnight. Sacrifice so much for this great country. We're not breaking up with every single day. And that's why I'm now joined by Frank Siller. You know him, you love him as the founder of Tower Towers. I'm surrounded by three sleepy boys, and I'm the only one that's still awake. Watching. I don't know what I'm watching. Oh, Fox News. Uh, going into the new year. Here I am, awake by myself. <laughs> Still going strong at 9.24. So it is the next morning. Last night for the last like two hours, I was like in and out of trying to sleep. Ken was sleeping. We had an alarm set so we could wake up and celebrate the new year, but I had such a horrible migraine. And I slept pretty much in this morning too. Like I got out of bed, I came downstairs, and then I slept because I was just exhausted from dealing with the migraine and having a little bit of headache this morning. But we did ring in the new year with a kiss and was awake and then went straight to bed because... Like I said, I had such a horrible migraine and it was horrible, but just wanted to come on this morning and end this last vlog technically of the year. Well, besides today because we're in the new year, but everything yesterday was the last vlog of the year. So I hope you guys had an amazing new year. Happy new year. Uh, go for the things that you want to go for this year. Uh, reach for those dreams and those goals and just always be authentically 100% you and I am excited for another year of vlogs and sharing my life with you and seeing where it goes so happy new year guys I will talk to you guys later